her do traffic on air, but every morning if you follow Ellen on social media, you see her minute motivations, That's which right. are a huge hit. Uh, a quick thought or story to motivate you to get up and get out the door. Today's lesson, saying yes. Have you ever done a year of yes, Reese? Oh, no. I don't Never? think I've done a day of yes. Reese, come on. So two years ago, I did a year of yes, which means you say yes to every single opportunity for a full 12 months. In that year of yes, I actually moved here to D.C. from a morning show in Dallas. I also, which was much harder for me, pushed myself to have a social life and network as much as possible instead of going straight home and back to the couch. I learned a lot about myself that year, but most of all, I learned this. It does not work to say yes to everything. This is actually a lesson that Angelica Talon knows very well. She's an entrepreneur in Arlington. She's built a successful online business by coming from this place of yes. However, she prioritizes what she says yes to. A yes to myself, a yes to my family, a yes to my career, a yes to taking some time off and traveling to reflect on the things that I'm most grateful for, and a place of yes to rest, because a lot of times I don't get any rest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Saying yes can sometimes actually be saying no to other things. Absolutely. If you say yes to one thing, that may mean saying no to another thing, and that's okay. And saying no to some things then opens you up for better opportunities down the road. Now, so the interesting thing about this is I'm a say no person. Yeah, I start, I start from saying no, <laughs> like I'm good. Yeah. But the thing is, I'm also a bit of an isolator. So yeah. sometimes I need something artificial to get me out of my comfort zone and to experience, um, you know, to have experiences and, and have interactions with people that I probably wouldn't have ordinarily. Yeah. And... Uh, kind of teach me that there's so much out there beyond your comfortable no. I'd be interested in what would happen to you during a year of yes. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we'll start with we like try it in the new year. an hour of yes. Oh, my gosh. Maybe I'll give you an hour. I don't even think you'd get through the hour. You don't think so? No. All right, we'll try it after the show. I do have a lot more with Angelica as well. She talked about the year of yes. She talked about building her business. She has 40,000 followers on Instagram. So nice. I'm putting all of that online now. Uh, a lot more on my social media throughout the day, our full conversation. And what's today's minute motivation? Today's is get uncomfortable, which is this. Because I've been doing minute motivations in this dark room by myself for uh -huh. a while. I'm really comfortable there. And I was like, oh, I have to do this on TV now. So it's get right. uncomfortable. Get out so, of your comfort you know, zone. Be the change you want to be. I like it.